This is Sunny Xie. I was extremely fortunate to be one of the first recipients of the NIH Director's Pioneer Award. The Pioneer Award allow us to carry out extensive studies of gene expression at a single molecule level in living cells. DNA exists as single molecules in individual cells. Because of that, gene expression occurs stochastically. We were able to monitor the stochastic protein production one molecule at a time in living bacterial cells. Each yellow flash you see here is a single yellow fluorescent protein molecule spontaneously generated by gene expression. In doing so, we were able to carry out quantitative analysis, statistical analysis, to describe the central dogma of molecular biology in a quantitative manner. We were able to understand the detailed mechanisms of transcription and translation and this fundamental biological processes. I was also very fortunate to receive a TRO grant for the development of a highly sensitive label-free vibrational imaging based on stimulated Raman scattering microscopy. What you see here is a slice of mouse brain. The blue gives the distribution of protein and the green gives the distribution of lipids. You see individual nuclei in blue color and individual neurons in green color. We're zooming into different regions of the brain. We were able to image drug distributions in human skins at video rate, label free. This was a major step forward in biomedical imaging. Both NIH Director's Pioneer Award and the TRO1 Award have had positive influence on my students. Doing high stake research is challenging the first time, but if they can succeed once, they will do it again. I'm glad to see several of my former students received the NIH New Innovators Award recently. Okay, so I'm Long Kai, I'm a system professor here at Caltech. I'm, I'm Wei Ming, I'm a system professor at the chemistry department at the Columbia University. So it's lucky, you know, that you're, you're here giving a talk in our chemical physics seminar series. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure. And so we're both grad students in Sunny, Sunny Xi's lab at Harvard. Uh, you know, I was there from 2001 to 2006. Actually, I was both a graduate student and a postdoc uh, at Sunny's lab from 2003 to 2010. Ah, so you were a grad student, uh, you started basically when Sunny got his first Pioneer Award. Exactly, exactly. Right, yeah. so, so I remember exactly, you know, halfway through my grad career that Sunny got the Pioneer Award. And yeah, that was a real excitement uh, for the group. Right, and uh, I mean, and it was, uh, I think at the time we were working on the single cell, single molecule gene expression project. And, uh, and, you know, a lot of people thought it was science fiction, that it wasn't really <laughs> possible to do in cells. And in fact, I, you know, some of the postdocs in the lab even said that this is really an impossible experiment. Yeah, I uh, clearly remember that, uh, that period. You remember too, yeah. Yes. So we'll leave their names on, on, <laughs> on set. Um, but, you know, but it was, uh, it was a really wonderful experience because you get to see that things that people, other people think are impossible can really be done. Yeah, I think I had a similar experience because uh, I was working on a single molecule absorption experiment at that time. And, right, and uh, again, people, people yeah, said that exactly. was possible. Exactly, so I yeah. think with Sunny's the Pioneer Award, it gave us this uh, freedom to explore the various uh, crazy ideas at that moment. And eventually, it panned out. We, we work out this uh, steam and Raman scattering microscopy, which now is SRS. Yeah, yeah. SRS, which is now believed to be the best uh, label-free vibrational imaging mm -hmm. for the field. So I think it's really a, a great experience for me and for the group. Right, and this is something you carried on in your yeah, your I think independent uh, work as exactly well. Exactly, it's right? fair to say that I got my current job because of that work with Sunny, and uh, my own group is actually continuing around along that direction, and uh, I believe there's actually a lot more to do along that direction. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I, my group is continuing on the single cell gene expression, and now just more multiplex. So I think that, you know, it's, uh, we saw sort of the spirit of innovation up close, firsthand, right? And we experienced it, and you know, 
and that's really carried over into our independent career. Yeah, well. I, I believe so. I think it's like uh, just kind of one of those things. If you can do it once, you can do it again. Exactly, and and you have a, a, a new innovator award from director's office. Right, that's also a long distance direction. Right. I think you, you you too, right? I have one too. Yeah. Yes. So, actually, yeah. you won it the one year ahead of me, right? Right. right. So I got it with Connor Evans, yeah. who's yeah. also a graduate in Sunny Side. So I think quite yeah. a few Sunny. Actually, people. I'm sure that the Sunny students gonna get more and more of those kind of awards in yeah. the near future. Yeah. Exactly.